A few months ago, I made a video about setting up Arch with Hyperland. Now, since then, many of you requested an updated video featuring the latest setup using end for dot false. So in this video, I will show you how to set up a Hyperland with end for dot false on Arch Linux. But thanks to Maverick Developer, the installation process is now fully automated so you can get the best Hyperlint experience up and running in just a few minutes. Now let's start installing Hyperlint on Arch Linux. Now first, make sure you have a fresh installation copy of Arch Linux with GNOME Desktop on your PC or laptop using the Arch install script. In my case, I have already installed the Arch Linux with GNOME Desktop along the side of Windows 11 on the same draft. Now, this is a dual boot setup. I have made a separate video on how to install Arch Linux, so I will leave a link to the video in the description. Before installing the Hyperland dot files, make sure you have at least 10 GB of free space available on your system. The first thing to do after installing Arch Linux is to update your system. Open terminal or console and type this command to update your system. Then install Timeshift, a backup tool that allows you to create snapshots of your system. This backup will be used if anything goes wrong after installing Hyperlint. Now ensure you backup the entire root system and home directories. Then click on create to take a snapshot of the current state of Arch Linux. Additionally, backup your important files to an external media for extra safety. It's recommended to install a few essential dependencies or packages using pacmin. Now run this command to install git and other required packages. Next, go to the settings and select power saving, disable dim screen, automatic screen blank and suspend options. Now it's time to set up a pre-configured Hyperlint environment using an installer script created by Maverick Developer. Let's start by navigating to the official website to learn more about this setup. Now these are the latest N4 dot files which brings a beautiful material inspired theme to Hyperlint. Then click on the quick start. I recommend reading the instructions carefully and going through the entire page. Then look for the automated installation steps for Arch Linux. Now go ahead and copy this command and paste it into the terminal and press enter to start setting up n4.files. Now type yes to back up the default config and local folders. This script offers two installation modes. The first one prompts you for confirmation before running each command. The second option runs everything automatically. I'm going with the second option by typing N and press enter. Now sit back and be patient while the script is running in the background. You'll be asked to enter your password a couple of times during the installation. Once the script completes, I recommend checking out the post-installation guide. 
for tips on getting started with Hyperlint. Now reboot your system. Now go ahead and click on your username, then click on the settings gear icon at the bottom right and change the session from GNOME to Hyperlint. Now this session manager makes it easy to switch between GNOME and Hyperlint. After that, enter your password to log in. Upon successful login, you will be greeted with the N4 welcome screen. Now arguably, this is the best Hyperlint configuration you will ever experience. The first step you should do after setting up the n4.files is to press super plus forward slash to bring up the cheat sheet. The super key is the Windows key on your keyboard, but this will display a list of key bindings related to specific applications or shortcuts to open wallpapers working with Windows, workspaces, and much more. I recommend reading this list and memorizing some shortcuts. For example, to close any app window, press super plus Q. Now pressing super plus T or super plus enter will launch the terminal. There you can see the bash environment. Now let's increase the font size in the kitty terminal. In your home directory, there's a hidden folder called config where all your hyperlink configuration files are stored. Now first navigate to the config directory using this command. Then open the kitty configuration file and locate the font size setting. Change the value to 20. Then save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and exit with Ctrl plus X. Then close terminal by pressing super plus Q and reopen by pressing super plus T. You should now see the increased font size. Now tapping the top left or top right corners of the screen opens the N4 sidebar. The sidebar on the right provides system controls like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, game mode, and much more. You can also switch the sound output device, view notifications, and check calendar information using the widget at the bottom. Also, there's a button to reload Hyperlint instantly and tapping the power icon reveals additional options like reboot, shutdown, and logout. Now let's open the settings shortcut. Now from here, you can switch between light or dark themes. The layout resembles Android's material expressive design. Under the interface settings, you can customize elements like buttons, the top bar, and even adjust the rows and columns in the overview menu. The sidebar on the left lets you create your own chatbot AI server. You can press Ctrl plus P to expand the windows. Now simply choose the large language model you want to work with. For example, type forward slash model to select a model. The locally installed Olama models are detected automatically. Now once you have done with the setup, you can enter any prompt and get a response just like a magic. Now this is amazing and you don't have to open a web browser to work with large language models.
Now pressing the super key brings up the workspace overview and app launcher. This lets you switch between workspaces very easily. Also, the launcher allows you to search for any installed application, making it the quickest and easiest way to launch applications on your system. To edit the Herpolin configuration files, open the terminal and navigate to the default key binding configuration file. Now let's add a custom key binding to open the Chrome browser. Now in this example, we will assign super plus g as the shortcut. Now once you have added the key binding, save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O and exit using Ctrl plus X. Now pressing super plus G will instantly launch the Chrome browser. Now to update or change the wallpaper, press super plus control plus T. Now this will open the file manager, allowing you to choose any wallpaper you fancy. You can find a collection of wallpapers from the link provided in the description. Overall, Arch Linux with N4 dot files takes your hyperlint experience to the next level with its stunning material theme. And that's all for this video on installing and customizing Hyperlint on Arch Linux. A huge shout out to all the developers who contribute making Linux so beautiful. Now don't forget to check out the GitHub page for more insights into the Hyperlint configuration. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Ryo. I will see you in the next one.